In the valley of Temecula, under skies of blue, vineyards sprawl on rolling hills, kissed by the morning dew. People come from near and far to gather for a taste. A tour and a local band made for a special place. Chords and vines, songs and wine, the bottle and a tune. Chords and vines, songs and wines, a perfect pair for you. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Cat Ellis, and I'm here with Tom Plant and... Well, we're going to wait and introduce our special guest in just a minute. But I just want to say, this is our first time at a restaurant I've been going to for years now, Los Reyes. Mexican restaurant and bar. And that is uh, guests, plural. Guests Guests. with an S. We have very exciting guests. We're honored to have them. And should we mention uh, our first guest, uh, Mayor Pro Tem of Wildemar, Ben Benoit. Welcome, Ben. Thank you. Happy to be here, and uh, this is one of my favorite restaurants, Wildemar, too. In fact, it's definitely my favorite Mexican restaurant at the moment. So. I can tell you, Wildemar is one of my favorite cities. I love the city council there. We had Bridget on before, and now we're just fortunate to have Ben on. I'm just so excited about all of this. This is just great. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. The city's doing such wonderful things, and I'm and just so proud to be associated with you. I just love it here. Thanks. Uh, ben, let's talk a little bit. Before we get into our music and talk about our musical guest, who we absolutely adore. So do I. Aww. Um, Aww. Well, I don't mean me, I mean her. <laughs> <laughs> but Ben, how long have you been uh, with the city, council member of the city? Sure. Uh, I've been on the city council now for about seven years. Um, I got elected uh, two years after the incorporation of the city. And uh, that's sort of what, uh, how I got into it was uh, one of the current council members at the time, Scott Farnham decided he wanted to go ahead and uh, get off council. And uh, he came to me and I, and uh, asked me to run. And I said, no, thank you. I <laughs> uh, wasn't interested. Wasn't, the timing wasn't right. Just uh, had a lot of this stuff going on in my business and family life. And he came back about two weeks later and said, okay, if you don't run, this is who will and this is what will happen. You really ought to run. I said, oh, okay. So that's what got me into the city life here in Wildemar and uh, really been enjoying it. I you, understand that. <laughs> you came into politics naturally. Your dad was quite a force, wasn't he? Well, I like to say uh, I fell into the same rut as dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, politics is not always a, a positive thing. Sometimes it's, it has a lot going on, uh, negative connotations. And I, I don't find it that. I, I find that most people in politics are actually good people. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something you sort of get pulled into sometimes when people want you to serve. And I was happy to be pulled in. You Tell know, us. Oh, go ahead. But I'm just sorry. I don't know if you know this, but I ran for Temecula City Council. That's right, yeah. In 1994. Oh, wow. And kind of got in for the same reasons as you did. This is who was running, and if you don't get in, they're going to run and all this. So I got in for the same reason. Yep. Almost won, not quite. But I found it was easier to be an activist than it was to be <laughs> on city council because you don't have to follow the rules. And There are a lot of rules. There's a lot of things. When we get up there at the dais, we have to keep to ourselves. There's a lot of stuff sometimes. Yeah, if you're a private citizen, it's almost a little easier to be very outgoing and outspoken. Right. And uh, you find really quickly as a council member, you're not there to be really as much for yourself as you are there for your city. And you Mm -hmm. have to keep that hat on. You have to remember that you're there to help your city. And your personal feelings might have to go aside. What's best for the city as a whole? Not just you, not your neighborhood, not your house. That's right. Very good. Tell us a little bit about your dad, John. So my dad, uh, he was an amazing guy. Uh, He passed away this December. Um, We were all very surprised uh, about midway through November when uh, we got a diagnosis of some sort of cancer. And uh, we f- quickly found out it was pancreatic cancer. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, prognosis was not great. It wasn't even okay. It was, it was poor. And uh, we tried a few things, or he tried a few things. And uh, basically, I spent the month of December hanging out with Dad and Mom and being there for him. And uh, we were hoping for a few, maybe three or four good months, and we only got about a month. Mm. And we lost him on mm. December 26th. So I'm one so one sorry. day shy of his uh, 65th birthday. Ah, uh, way too young. My yep. mom, my mom suffered from pancreatic cancer, so I understand that. I'm so sorry. Yep, it was uh, it was a tough time, and uh, you know, still a lot going on from that. Uh, I've been helping out in the desert with my mom and going to a lot of events. I was just covering for her for an event uh, that, a, that an event that my dad would have been at. Right. Uh, just yes, just last week. But and we've got a couple more coming up this week, and then I'll be out there basically re- you know receiving from a lot of good people that want to honor my dad some sort of an He's award a great or man. Event. your yep. dad really was so and i'm very sorry but i'm glad that you're here 
and, and able to work with your mom and honor his legacy. It's great. Absolutely. And I was Thank blessed you. enough to have met your dad and had a couple of good visits with him. He was a force to be reckoned with, and he was a great man. He was. Yep. Great guy. So we're, anyway, we got Ben. Up we do this. have Ben. I'm excited. Now, should we go ahead and introduce Grace and George? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think Grace and George are kind of having a little private chat over there. Oh, I know. We're oh, enjoying there they are. It. sharing headphones. So They're cool. sharing <laughs> headphones. It's so cute. Everyone we have Grace Rich- Richardson and uh, George Hager. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank hey. you. I got to say, Grace, I was so surprised when you came in with your pink hair. <laughs> you have such beautiful blonde hair, and all of a sudden you come walking in with well, this pink you know, hair. it's fun. Change it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I understand that. It's always, you know, I, I used to do that, not the, with the wild colors like that, but years ago, I used to change my hair color all the time. They called it my mood hair. Yeah. yeah kind of went kind of with my is, mood. Yeah. I've been like that since the 80s. So. <laughs> Grace is like, our favorite little wild child. Yes, well. I, uh, I might look good on Ben. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think pink or purple, maybe. <laughs> yeah, sure, change it up. One Dark week. purple. Purple is that royalty thing, Ben. You could go with right. purple. French you royalty, could. right? French yeah. royalty. That would be perfect. <laughs> so, fun. anyway, Grace, I don't know where to start with you. Cougars Rock. Yes. And, and George. I keep wanting to say Jorge. George. Yeah. <laughs> That's his nickname. Yeah, I've been going back since high school, or, you know. I, know, I keep wanting to say that. So, and we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo still, right? Yeah, so you can call it me for Cinco de Siete today. <laughs> Do you know what's funny is that neither Tom or I had any margaritas on Cinco de Mayo, but we've oh. been drinking margaritas all day Saturday and today. <laughs> oh, we had some yummy strawberry margaritas last oh. night. Didn't I yes. just got back from Cabo San Lucas, so oh. I've been drinking. Is margaritas that where you were when I week. called you? Yes. <laughs> Which she got back on the fourth, and so the very next day, psh, yeah, we are celebrating. Cinco de Mayo again. Yeah. May the awesome. fourth be with you. <laughs> <laughs> How was Cinco de Mayo down in Cabo? I've never been down there for that. Was it, was it fun or was it, well, is it more it's up al- here? It's always fun there no matter yeah. what date it is. But um, but I will say that this is also my favorite Mexican restaurant, Los Reyes, here in Wildemar. Um, I am also a Wildemar local, of course. And uh, we came here on Easter, actually, with my mom and my son and George and I. And we had a wonderful dinner, as always. So we really love it here, too. Yes, I had a burrito on Easter. <laughs> we, were, we were here this past Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. We yes. each enjoyed two oh, tacos. Oh, yeah, we come here often. They were so good. I have been coming here, I can't remember, I think since they first opened. And yes, we're going to have too. JJ, who is doing double duty here today. Uh, he's bartending, and he's going to be on the show, so he's... And it's packed in here. I'm going to say it is holy so crap. We're, we're going I to heard do a, a rumor about a tequila pairing or we something. We are going to do a tequila slash margarita pairing for oh, your right. music. So You're going to pair margaritas with tequila? That's great. <laughs> what a concept, huh? <laughs> yeah. And Kat, have you had uh, anything interesting or unusual happen to you this week? Oh. Anything going on in your world, Kat? Speaking of Cinco de Mayo. Yes. Yes. I, I received totally surprised. Out of the blue, a an award from President Obama. Yes, she did. Huh? Lifetime Achievement Award. award. Whoa. Tell so. us about that. Holy moly. Well, I had no idea about any of it. I received the certificate and pin from President Obama and a letter. And a letter. Wow. And it just surprised me. It was a Lifetime Achievement Award for volunteer, lifetime yep. volunteer work. Fourth, I think it, it represents 4,000 hours of volunteer work. Wow. Congratulations. Nice. And Excellent. I... We, when, when I picked her up off the floor... <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I think you did. And I was speechless for at least 20 hours. And trust me, that never happens. <laughs> 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 Ever. Well, I can't compete with that, but I can tell you, I, I have met the mayor pro tem of Wildemar. Wow. You have? Hey, wow. guess what? Oh. Me too. <laughs> Happy to be here. Anyway, I was very, very excited, and it's still quite surreal to me about all of that, but I was very excited. And I know Robbie Motter with the uh, National Association of Female Executives she had a She may have been instrumental in making that happen. She did. I, I know she did, and I'm just so honored to be associated with people like that, and really not a clue. Totally for it. Completely shocked by it all. Well, Kat, I think we maybe should get into our first song. No, I want to keep talking about me. No. Okay, let's talk, <laughs> let's talk a little more about you. No, no, let's get into our first song. 
So, George, you, you used to be in a band named Sketch, is that correct? Yeah, this is an uh, original band uh, from a few years back. My hair was uh, uh, halfway down my back. And, okay, um, but not pink. It was, <laughs> not, it was not pink. Uh, and we, uh, it's from uh, the original uh, CD that we put out. Uh, had uh, record company interest. It was a very exciting time. Uh, record companies were calling us, and um, it just didn't happen for whatever reason. But I'm very proud of the music that we put together, and I'm still very friends good. with all the guys. And, uh, the, the song is called Hard. Who wrote this? The song is called Hard. Um, my friend Dave Allen wrote that. He is the one playing bass and singing. Uh, I am playing uh, guitar, the lead guitar. There's two guitar players, so. But I'm playing. Uh, I wrote the the riff going into it and much of the music on it. And you will hear my backup vocals. I'm, I'm the one singing the high, little high backup vocals in there. So. All right. Well, you are listening to Chords and Vines, and we have Grace Richardson and George Hager here. We're going to listen to one of George's songs when he was with a group called Sketch. This is hard.
are you are listening to Chords and Vines, and uh, that was Sketch doing hard with our musical guest, George Hager. George is here with Grace Richardson, and you are listening to Chords and Vines. We're broadcasting to you live from Los Reyes in Wildemar, and uh, we have someone who's just joined us at the microphone. Welcome, JJ. Hi, how you doing? Good. Uh, I see a glass of tequila in front of me. What do we have here? I'm a little nervous. I'll, wow. I'll hey, it. JJ. <laughs> It's uh, Reposado Cazadores. Ah, now you're talking to me. Wait, which one was it? Cazadores? Uh, Cazadores Reposado, Oh, yes. very nice. JJ, I've known you now for a couple of years. Uh, I've been coming in here. I, about five. Been, is that how long Los Reyes has been open? So, yes, I've been coming in here for five years. And you you are the bartender, chief bartender. You're the... I, I tell you, I've never had any better margaritas than what I've had with you. Oh, thank you. And, gosh, I don't even know what to say about you. How did you get involved with Los Reyes, did you, a bartender? Have you been bartending for years? Or? Yes, I've been bartending for about 12 years, and uh, I just like the atmosphere, the customers, and like to make everybody happy and, you know, have a good time and, you know. I started young, as, as a matter of fact. I started as a bar back and just worked my way up. Well, you're only about 24, 25 now, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 39. <laughs> so, you, you paired a tequila. Correct. Uh, to go with, with, oh, I keep saying Jorge now. I got it. <laughs> with George. It's Jorge. Jorge. Yeah, that's what all the girls in Cougars Rock. And what, what, is this, what is this tequila? It's a Reposado for uh, Cazadores. It's a pretty strong one. I like it myself. I've been drinking it for a while, and I like that one very much versus all the other ones. Now, am, am I pairing it with this lime? Is that what I'm pairing it with? Well, what you do is uh, you, there's salt on the edge, so what you do is you lick the salt, take the so shot, and then squeeze the it in your mouth. I'm pairing it with the salt and the lime. You Correct. put training wheels on it, Yeah, that's you? training Correct. wheels. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> but uh, you're speaking my language when you say Reposado, and I love Cazadores. So. Yeah, it's great to do. And yes. I, I think this, uh, you know what we do on Cords and Vines is we pair... Typically wine, but in this case uh, tequila and music. And boy, I think it was a perfect match for there you for go. Uh, hard. For, this, for this rainy day, huh? Yeah, this, <laughs> this gloomy day. It's Beautiful a gloomy day, day, but it's bright inside of Los Reyes. Correct. And that, uh, Casador, is that that's the deer, right? Yes, yes. the one with the horns. Yes. Yeah, and that's, is that that's what that word means? Correct. Casadores, yeah, it means like you're you're a hunter. You're hunting for that deer, yeah. Yeah, all my Spanish comes from Grace, even though I'm, I'm half Mexican. <laughs> okay, so we we lick the salt. Right. And then take the shot. Then take the shot. And then, and then bite down bite on the, the lime. lime. All right. Are we I like ready? To, I, like ready? To, I like to sip. <laughs> I, I learned in Mexico that you're supposed to sip the tequila, not Absolutely. shoot it. That's an American thing. Well, Is that true? I'm not sure. All I know is, <laughs> all I know is the, the, the expensive añejos, you sip it. Right. Yeah. Well, you know. I'm with you, Grace. You I like to sip. That yeah. was so good. I didn't, a, I didn't even need the lime. That was really good. Oh, there you that's go. very good tequila. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what happens Uh-oh. when you shoot that's the tequila. That's the mama cat gonna... seal of approval. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I guess oh, that was this good. This is one worth sipping. This is really good. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. I don't know. I always well, I say I grew up doing shots, but in my well, you mean after legal 21, years, <laughs> after 21. After <laughs> 21. Yeah. All right, right? George. <laughs> But hey, I've always learned to do shots. I've, I, it was not cool to sip, but right. this is a good sipping tequila. It yes, it is. There's a few ones that I thought there were shots to take down, and yeah. like the strong añejo ones, and they really burn your chest. Yeah, so. exactly. So, so the añejos, us, no matter what añejo I take, I'll, I'll sip it because you never you know. They, some of them look dangerous, and some, some of them are really scotch-like. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, they are, and you don't know which one until you they down just, it. And next, you know, your chest tells you, "Hey, that's, yeah, hello." And some of them are that very one. expensive. I mean, what? What is the most expensive shot of tequila that you would have? And some of them are very fancy. Oh, we have a few. We have Don Julio Real. That's 55 We have Elegante. $55 for a shot? Yes, sir. See, wow. that is... Te- wow. Tequila yeah. is... So you better uh, sip that. Yeah, 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 yeah you better yeah. sip that one. Yeah, you should. Wow. George, I'll take you to a bar in San Francisco that has a $1,000 a shot tequila. I oh want to go. God. And I'm not getting... If you want to smell it, you can do so for $100 to smell <laughs> it. I, I don't think those wow. were the shots... Cat was doing. When she turned 21. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So JJ, tell, you have a happy hour here, right? Yes, we do. Tell Monday, us about happy hour. We have uh, it's uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, it starts at uh, 3:30 uh, to 6:30, and uh, it's the the margaritas, the Cadillacs. The mar- margaritas are five dollars, and the Cadillacs are uh, seven dollars. We have dollar off the draft beers and dollar off the wells and uh, dollar off the the bottles. 
Kat and I love your margaritas. We were here for Taco Tuesday, and we both enjoyed a couple of them, and they're they, so yeah, good. They're good. Well, yeah. uh, I think I see you enjoying a couple right now as well. What do you mean a couple of them? <laughs> right? Don't tell me. Right? <laughs> That's a very popular thing to do, too, in Waldemar, is Taco Tuesday here at Los Reyes. It is. Yes. Everybody comes yeah, around. A- we always send each other, you know, Waldemar community messages. Come on down and hang out here and it's it's a great sense of community we really love, love it here so yes it gets very busy here too and there's yeah. not too many mexican restaurants out here in this area so and this is very good. Yeah. Yeah. people come here and enjoy and it's pretty much regulars and you know off and on a few unfamiliar faces but for the most part it's regulars that come in and enjoy it. and they also come on fridays and the weekends i mean they come here like two or three times out of the week and that lets you know that you know it's good food and they like the atmosphere and so it's now rare you just to find. Need to have some bands here, and like yeah. live music. I happen to yes. know a band that you, know, you do. There you go. Mm-hmm. Talk to you the manager. Let's make it happen. <laughs> it's, it's rare to find an authentic Mexican restaurant. You can yes. find yeah. Mexican restaurants up and down the street, but oh, yeah. to find one that serves authentic Mexican oh, yeah. food Our that's fresh and, and, and tasty. Sauces are, are uh, homemade here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice little yeah. kick to it, but not too hot. Uh, really, really good. Oh, the salsa! I oh, could yeah. not stop. I think I, I personally eat like six. He Servings basically drank it. He was drinking it. Right. It was so good. Oh, it's good. We just had the um, garlic lime chicken salad. That was incredible. With that cilantro dressing. Yeah, that cilantro is amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I have not had everything on your menu, probably close to everything on the menu over five years now. But oh, I tell oh. you, I've never had anything bad here. Everything has been exquisite. Yeah, I, I never heard of us in all the dressing until I started working here. So I'm like, what? I want to use that on my tacos, but now I now I take some home and put it on my salads at home. <laughs> I believe that JJ is the only bartender working right now, so we better let you get back to your station. Yeah, I got a few drinks and I can come back. Yeah. All righty, sounds good. All right. And you. Ben, uh, let's talk about ALS. Sure. Yeah, we actually have a, a couple events coming up here in the city on uh, Saturday. Uh, the, the big one, is, and they're actually sort of paired together, is the ALS uh, One Run for Life. And uh, it's a 10K, 5K, and 1K, and that will be going to uh, help to support the foundation for ALS research. And uh, this uh, this is actually something that uh, personally affects me. My my sister actually has come down with ALS. Mm. She's uh, actually post diagnosis by about four years now, and she's restricted to pretty much a, a walker at this point. And, oh. uh, no my more, no my more heart steps. goes out to you. Now, don't we have a representative here from ALS? We, we do. She's uh, she's actually sitting right at the table over there, and uh, I think she's her, talking her to her uh, John and Marcia Swanson. And her kid. Actually, I think John and Marcia Swanson, who, who were here earlier, Marcia Swanson, she actually uh, went home. So okay. you, you've had almost all you've had almost a quorum of council members. Well, now I wanted on your to bring show. her. I, I'd like to bring. And I'm sorry, I, I forget. I forget your name. You're one of our sponsors for today's show. Oh. And Aaron, Ben, Aaron, you, go ahead and sit down. you may not know that I used to work with Marcia Swanson. I was one of her agents in this very shopping center. Oh, that's why a couple she was, of years. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Talk about the race. So yeah. we go, we go way back. Very good. Yeah, she's a great person. All right. Well, welcome, Erin. I've never done something like this before, so hi. It's the first time for everything. Welcome. Yes, thank welcome. you. So, Erin, I went over the fact we have the race coming up this weekend. It's a 10, 5, and 1K at ALS. Uh, anything else you want to tell us about the uh, the race? Um, well, yeah, it's going to be on May 13th, which yep. I'm sure you said. And and it's a really, a really important thing for our family. Um, my uncle was diagnosed with it, so we've taken it very much to heart. And we're pushing it as much as we can. So far, we have over 200 runners, which is going to be great. And that's that's we still have a whole week, so I'm really looking forward to see what the next week will entail. And, and what's the website to sign up on for runners? Still? Um, you could go to active.com, www.active.com, or my website, www.exerciseforvitality.com. Awesome. So, and then you can just go on ALS One Will Demar, and it's a, the 10K. It's all off the beaten path, so you can. It's going to be a fun run. You get to see horses and. All kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> and hopefully the cool. weather will be... Uh, it's supposed to be 75. Yes. Like, perfect. perfect. could not ask for a better weather for No, 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 no. I'm really looking forward to it. And we have a lot of wonderful sponsors, and we're teamed up with the bike safety event, so it's going to be a really big day. How many runners are you anticipating? My goal is 500, so Good. I still have a week. I can get 300. <laughs> yes. No, I, I have faith in you. I think so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, you mentioned the bicycle safety event. That's also that same day. It uh, will start at 8 o'clock. And, and what time does the run start? At 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock as well, yeah. And then uh, the bicycle safety event will run until noon. 
and uh, we'll have uh, people out there on BMX bikes actually demonstrating some bike tricks, but also talking about bicycle safety with that. And really, it's for the kids to come out, get their bikes checked, go over some basic here are the safety events for bikes, and really helps out the kids to keep our, our kids safe. So. Oh yeah, they do it. The air show, the show times are nine fifteen, nine thirty, and ten fifteen. Am I right in saying I think that? So. Yeah. So. Aaron, why don't you give us the website one more time so people can get involved? Oh, sure. Um, to sign up for the race, uh, you could go to www.als1.com and look up keyword Will Demar. And that's O N E, right? Not the not the number. Oh yes. One, but um yes. A L S O N E. O N E, correct. So that's the foundation that we're with. L- and then also you can go to www.exerciseforvitality.com. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you very much for <laughs> we hope We hope you get a thousand runners. Oh, well, that would be amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is this your first year for this? No, this is our second year. Last year we brought in 200 runners and we raised just over four, almost $4,000. So this year we're hoping to raise even. Let's go for 25000 Oh, I, that What did I say? La- I said last year I wanted to do twenty-five, fifty thousand. So I'm okay. re- reaching for the stars. And, and, and anyone <laughs> listening, you, know, you don't have to be a runner. Just to show that, I was out there last year. So anyone can come. Just do even the 1 or 5K. Yeah, to it's walk. It's a great event. Let us know if there's anything we can ever do to help on this. I mean, we could promote but we'd love to be part of it to help you any way we can oh that means the world to me thank you to us thank you so so much thank you <laughs> hey cat guess what i i think i just saw our friend robert rankin walker walk in the door i, I i'm not sure but robert, I, I, robert, sir? I think i think he is hi this is robert rankin walker you're listening to chords and vines on 10 temecula <laughs> entertainment network oh. <laughs> no. cat well. didn't have her headphones on so she didn't hear him talking about Okay, well, he was here and and he's gone now. (laughs) Well, thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you very much. So, Ben, what else is going on? What's coming up in the city of Wildemar? What is going on in this vibrant town? Um, We've got a lot going on. We've got a lot of great businesses coming in uh, right across the street. If you're driving down the 15 freeway, you'll see a a whole new cluster of buildings uh, being built off the 15 in Clinton Keith. And uh, I don't have the list in front of me, but they, there's all sorts of new businesses coming in there. Um, also, just down the street from that, there's a, a place named The Barn in Wildemar. And that, that has recently been redone. And again, the, the leasing agents are out there getting new businesses coming in. I saw a, a, a boba tea uh, place is coming in there. There's a place for a restaurant in there. I know there's a lot of leasing going on right now. And unfortunately, until those leases are signed, I can't go out there and really promote them too much. Exactly. But once we get those, we'll, we'll get them out to you guys for sure. It's oh, definitely. Really We'd love to support anything, all the civic organizations, groups, council. Um, I do want to mention, I don't know if everybody knows that Tom and I are also professional photographers, and we did have some photos at the uh, First Friday art exhibit in uh, Temecula at the Truex building. And I'm not really promoting our photos, but I want to say one of the groups I met there, this was very interesting. Um, It's veterans of Temecula Valley. And they are, I was so moved by talking with Michael and his wife there who are promoting. Um, Such lovely people. I mean, oh, my like gosh. The, the uh, and we're going to do something with veterans. Uh, they're having a Youth in Religion Fellowship concert, which is uh, to promote uh, veterans to Megula Valley featuring recording artist, composer, and performance Charles Edwin Bean, V-I-E-N-N, Host a first ever youth fellowship concert, and you're invited to. You're invited. Additionally, local church groups are welcome to join us uh, to benefit the, the veterans of Temecula. And this is on May 20th, 9 a.m. to 12 12 p.m. Oh, that's just. I was going. I was thinking like, oh my God, it's a long time. That's three hours at the Ronald Reagan uh, Sports Park in Temecula, the, at the amphitheater. And why to highlight positive impact in diversity. And I tell you, I was so moved by, by talking with Michael and what he is doing for the veterans and everything. I really, we are planning on doing a show with them, with veterans. Absolutely. To help support that. So I do want to say that. And one other thing before we get back into our music, I want to thank Chris Welton, attorney at law, for being our corporate sponsor. Ben is also one of our sponsors for today's show. And um, and Bridget Moore, of course, has always been a wonderful sponsor. With uh, I I I got to say that the Wildemar City Council is so supportive of local artists, like with Grace and yes, George. They really are. And 
with all the community. I I mean, you guys are just incredible how you just post everything that's going on right now, right now. Have a question, you get they get right back to you, and I've got to come in. I mean, it could be a traffic jam, and Bridget will be on there saying, hey, avoid this street, be careful, everyone. It's really nice to feel to feel so safe uh, in this community with with these great people running our city. And I love, Thank you. I got to say, Grace, your your son and one of my grandsons goes, goes to... Um, Donald Graham. Donald Graham. Yeah, it's a great and school. It's a great school. Yeah. And one other thing I got to toot <laughs> about Wildemar School District. I have a special needs grandson who goes to Wildemar Elementary. Yep. He has been there four years now, I believe. And I got to tell you, they have the special, the best special needs program ever. They do. They, they do a really good job with that. It's and I, the teachers, the staff, everybody at that school is so. I mean, they know him. <laughs> it's just funny how it works. Yep. So, it's actually the uh, Lake Elsinore Unified School District. They cover both Waldemar, uh, Lake Elsinore, and part of uh, Canyon Lake. And uh, i got to promote my wife just for a second because she's here. And she's, a, she is. she's an assistant principal at Mes- uh, Canyon Middle School. The, hey, hey so, wife. But, <laughs> hey, wife. We're, we're talking about you. About she mentioned you. the school district. So i got to talk about you for a second. So, she can't hear uh, It is a really right? great school district. It's amazing how well they do. Well, You're there's also principal? Oh, man, we're in front of royalty here. Wow. Between ben and your... You never know I what you're going to find on Cords and Vines. You know, we're just... Wow. <laughs> it's always wonderful. Uh, I, the special I, needs program. I should have a tux. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you, George? I know. I, I, I feel under Jorge. Jorge. Jorge, thank you. Jorge. I would have to be in a tux, and we don't... It's just easier when no one does that. It's okay. So. We've got... <laughs> well, I'd say the, uh, next Friday is the uh, Special Olympics yes. at the uh, Lakeside uh, right. High School. And I've been so honored to be able to... Well, to go i mean it's it's i can hardly keep a dry eye during that whole thing it is just so sweet and i do photos because my grandson's there but i do photos and it's just incredible and i'm hoping tom will be able to go Absolutely, this year yes. are you tearing Aww. up right now i think you're- uh, yes i get all i mean tom knows me. i get all i love her she's so the sweet. sweetest I, wanna, I tell you, I, when it comes to, to children and special needs and that okay, whole I'm day, go I'm just... Oh. <laughs> All right, Jorge well. is running around the table, oh, literally oh, running. Hug, 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 he hug. is because he's a big love. Oh, yeah. oh sweet, sweet. Oh, thank you. All righty. And he's well, a klutz and he will <laughs> trip over uh, the cords. Uh, hey, there's a makes, lot of cords over there. Makes him even more fine. lovable, doesn't it, Grace? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grace, my mom is doing the cutoff sign right now. No more tequila. No more tequila. <laughs> All right, let's go. To, let's go to our second yes, song. Let, okay, we're gonna. Which, listen, I love this song. We pl- we, we we played, played it before, it. but it's a wonderful song. It is great. I will it's tell great. you this: it it's totally actually great. my favorite song I've ever written and I've ever been a part of. And I will tell you, I'm very proud to say too that you know on drums, uh, Tiago's dad is Phoenix playing drums, and uh, this is Tiago's favorite song when we played. Um, some of our originals, you know, driving in the car. He said, Mommy, I really do like this. And I think he listened to it 20 times in a row. Wow. I was there. Driving, you know. So uh, that's Tiago's favorite song, too. And it's so, called... For- thank you, Phoenix. Forgiveless. And you're listening to Grace Richardson on Chords and Vines.
That's Grace Richardson on Chords and Vines. It's a song called Forgiveness. And Grace, that's Tiago's favorite song. Am I correct? It is, and I have him right here. Hey, he wants to. Hey, Tiago. Hey. He wants Vines. to say a little something on the radio, if you don't mind. No, I don't. Right ahead. Hey, Dad, I know you're listening to this, so uh, I love you, and I'll see you after work. Uh, uh, tell him that you're excited. You heard that on the radio. Tell him. Yeah, it's my favorite song, and I knew you wrote it with Mom. Hey, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Yay. I've known Phoenix for years. He's a good man. Hey, Phoenix. <laughs> Thank I you so much for that. Awesome. I just learned the Wildemar finger sign we gotta, from Ben. we got to bring the thumb down. Oh, it it wait, why do I not know this? <laughs> And I see JJ. He's bringing us more mas tequila. You see mas tequila. Wait, I gotta try this sign here. Poor yeah, is that I'm it? I'm watching the the <laughs> mayor pro tem do a Wildemar gang sign. But a happy gang. It's a happy gang. It's a happy gang. It's a community. I'm uh, not hanging even, out in not even what, what, what else Man don't we know about you? Elsinore, so I, I don't know. know. I think my more fingers more. are stuck. It kind of hurt, but. This is very cool. I just, I just don't know how I can get undone right now. <laughs> yeah, like Kat, that's, that's why you didn't get uh, voted into uh, city council. You didn't have the hand <laughs> sign. Well, no, it wasn't for Wildemar. Yeah, I didn't have the <laughs> oh, there, I can tell you the Temecula hand sign, but I won't. Okay. But. <laughs> Kat, I think you need to take a shot of these uh, oh, shots no. of tequila. Yeah, honey, you're driving. Oh, JJ, we got to get you back on here. Okay, JJ Goodness. was sitting down when I saw him last time. Have you seen his arms? <laughs> <laughs> They're the size of my thighs. <laughs> He could crush pretty, my skull with buff. his Thank you, one arm. So don't make him mad. All righty. See, so. this place doesn't need a bouncer because they have JJ here. All right. So Kat is going to slide over next to me, and JJ is going to tell us about what's in our glass for uh, the tequila that we're pairing with Grace Richardson's Forgiveless. <laughs> that happens. Okay. We need new mic clippies. It's okay. That's okay. <laughs> or you can hold it. All right. That works. All right. And your arms can handle it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have in here, JJ? So these are Cabo Silver. Oh, Cabo. Nice. Yes. Cabo. Cabo. Cabo Wabo. Cabo Wabo. Wabo. Oh. Yes. It's Sammy. Sammy Hagar. Mm-hmm. Not my brother. I'm George Hager. He's Sammy Hagar. Oh, yeah, you but go. you don't spell it the same way. I know. I should start doing that, though. And I you am should. in a Van Halen tribute, so there's there you go. Oh. Now, is this a plata? Yes, plata, which is silver. Mm-hmm. I thought it went well for the song Forgiveness. Cause yes. Why? Why exactly? Uh, just when I have a lot of cobbles, I end up apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> there's oh, there's forgiveness. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That was the greatest explanation ever. <laughs> I just, say, I just say sorry, honey. Uh, here, here's, here's the credit card. Go, go shopping. Oh, there you well, go. That worked Great. out perfectly. Yeah. Uh, Do you have an extra credit parent. card? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she might. She might have it. Uh, all right, are we trying this. All right. Salut. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's mm. nice. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Yeah. See, you that know. is very smooth. Silver so the white man are underrated. Yes, There's I some know. beautiful ones out there. Oh, yes. I am sipping this one. Good. There you go. <laughs> the white man really? Sammy uh, did a good job on... <laughs> I know it's made down in tequila land. Jalisco. But he, yeah, in yes. Jalisco. I actually drove by there once. It was beautiful. It is, uh, it is, it is, this is a very beautiful, beautiful place, tequila. yes. This is wonderful. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, actually, last time I was in Cabo last summer, uh, we wandered into his place, and he was there singing. So it's a, I, I experienced I that. that I neat? walked in, and... I Can't Drive 55 was playing, and I thought it was on the radio. Yeah. And I walked in, and there he was playing with the bass player from Boston and just some guys jamming. Like, yep. It was awesome. That's a, a great That's place awesome. to get down to. I just got a text from our friend Sean Roberts. Cabo is the best damn tequila, period. <laughs> period. There you go. Can't go wrong with the Cabo. I, I have a tequila question for you. Sure. Uh, Patron, right. which has become very popular over the last mm. past decade or so. Very popular. Um. The, the rumor that I heard, it's a couple of American guys from Temecula that actually started the company. Of course, it's made down in Mexico, but it, the that, business was started here in the Temecula right, Valley. Right. I've, I've heard that rumor, but I haven't really had time to like Google it and do the research. But you it could be Temecula? just a rumor or it could be real. Who knows? Now, I think Patron is a very nice tequila. However, I think there are so many better tequilas for less money. Would you agree with me on that, JJ? Yes. yes. I a couple years back, I used to drink a lot of Patron. Yeah. 
But then me and the wife went to a, a Angel Games. We're diehard Angel fans. Right. Oh, nice. And um, they were doing uh, uh, free Patron shots, which was weird, you know? And um, when you get that, you get a little history of the Don Julio. Don Julio. Oh, that's con- Don the Julio Mexicans consider beautiful. that the best tequila. Yes. And I like it, but I always kind of prefer Don uh, Patron. But... His last name is Gonzalez, and that's my last name. Well, so there like, you oh, go. You know what? We're switching to Don Julio. Yeah. <laughs> and we've been doing Don Julio ever since. It's now yep. the uh, Don Julio bar up instead of the, uh, it used to be the, uh, uh, what was that? I think Kettle One bar, uh, or Kettle yeah. One Suite. Now it's the Don Julio Suite. Right. And actually, my mom and dad have had uh, season tickets there for the last couple seasons. Oh, there you so go. This year, I'll be there with my mom a few times to nice. fill in for dad. But yeah, there you go. My dad was a diehard Angels fan as well, so that's oh, awesome. Oh, man. That's have awesome. You, have you had the Classe Azul Blanco? Yes, I have. Oh, that, that is very smooth. An unbelievable. Yes, bl- it is. Yeah. And uh, De Leon. I have not had China. Okay, I'll have to share that with you. It's a yeah. pretty magnificent tequila, and I'm happy to share some of mine with I you. I haven't been able to uh, find that. I tried. To, I thought I could find it at BevMo, but... De Leon? The guy says, now we haven't had it here for a while, okay. so maybe uh, next yeah. time I go to Rosarito, I might have to get it. There you go. All right. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to do kind of a, a very special thing here on Quartz and Pines. Grace and George are going to play live, which is we are? happens very rarely. <laughs> Well, before we, we do that, we get two I, shots of tequila, and we'll okay. just <laughs> remember. Well, before we do that, real quick, I want to do the shout out with Sean Roberts yeah. with his uh, podcast podcast on Saturdays, uh, weekly your weekly dose, and we were guests on there. We were his first guest. His first guest. So I just say hi, Sean, and thank you for the mixer. Yeah. He hooked us up <laughs> with a great mixer when ours burned out last week. This is the second time we've gone on the air because of Sean Roberts. So thank you, my friend. Uh, quickly, I'm uh, working with Mick Wilson from Wilson Creek Winery. Uh, I've become friends with pretty much all the family. Mick, Bill, I haven't met Libby yet, but Jerry and Rosie, the parents. And we're working on a very exciting project. There was a series of interviews done 11 years ago that have been sitting on a shelf gathering dust. And uh, Mick and I are going to work, and we're going to put them into book form. And there's going to be at least one book. The goal is to do three, so we're very excited. And uh, Jorge, if you want to get your guitar ready, Grace, if you want to get your pipes ready, we're going to. Uh, and JJ, thank you so much. The tequilas were no, magnifico. No problem, guys. Very My pleasure. Good. Anytime. And just quickly, so if I could mention, uh, George and I are actually starting a um, wine jam company. And so we're going to jam some guitar tunes and also make some wine jams. Um, So wine jam is actually a jam made exclusively from wine with a little bit of fruit added. Um, It's not just a like a jelly made from fruit and wine added. So we're excited because we want to feature some local wines from the Temecula Valley and um, also incorporate our music and maybe even something special on the label like a guitar pick or something like that. So that's coming up soon. So look for that. That's going to be a local company that we're starting very, very soon. We're coming up with all different recipes now. So thanks so much for um, checking it out. Grace, <laughs> we, we need to talk because you know I have my Sassy Mama's mustard. I know, and I love mustard. Did it's like my favorite thing. I don't know if you saw the picture of the shirts we're selling. It says Sassy Mama's. For like a on. second, and I think well, I need some. Well, we got to talk. George just told me about it, you know, when we're a little break there. And we really do need to talk because I think we could really work something together. Let's do it. That would be so fun and so great. I think so it would great. be great. Support oh, each I just other. Had a, I just had a brain idea. Yay! <laughs> so brain so ideas oh. are good. <laughs> Tom always knows when my let's, brain's working. Let's, uh, he smells yeah. let's brainstorm. Out. Let's do some stuff I, together. I just had an idea, so let's. let's well, you know, George used to have a um, uh, a food truck, and he had a, it was a bacon wrapped everything truck. So um, he's a great cook, and then you know that's. You mean Jorge? <laughs> Jorge, I was Jorge. like, hey, hey, he's a keeper. He cooks, you know. So uh, I know that Tom, d- Tom cooks too. He's a keeper. Hmm. Well, we need to like s- hang yes. the four of us. We do. Yeah. No, just you and I because we're the brain. <laughs> and then we'll tell them what to do. <laughs> you know, Grace works at a winery. I've heard that Avonsol. All right, quickly before yes. we get into your song, what's going on at Avonsol? 
so many great things. Wonderful wine, beautiful atmosphere, wonderful food at the restaurant. Everyone is so friendly and lovely. It's a beautiful place to hang out. So please come and visit me. I'm in the tasting room at Avonsoul. Um, and we will be playing as a duo soon. Wonderful. So George and I uh, have our own originals. And we're going to do a cover right now. Um, we're going to do a um, song by Cheryl Crow called Strong Enough. Wonderful. And uh, we're very excited to be here. So thank you so much for having us today. Grace Richardson and George Hager on Chords and Vines. Take it away. Uh, what's this? Give us, uh, Just getting set up. Okay, they are getting set up. We're asking for Hopefully my kid will come in here to watch this, too. All righty. George is on the phone, <laughs> but it looks like we're getting very close to uh, our live performance from okay, Los here Reyes we go. on Chords and Vines. George and Grace with Strong Enough. Take it away. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. Gonna feel like hell tonight Tears of rage I cannot fight I'd be the last to help you understand Are you strong enough to be my man? My man Nothing's true and nothing's right So let me be alone tonight Cause I can't change the way I am Are you strong enough to be my man? Lie to me I promise I believe Lie to me But please don't leave I have a face I cannot show I make the rules up as I go And try and love me if you can Are you strong enough to be my man? My man Are you strong enough to be my man? Are you strong enough to be my man? Are you strong enough, my man? I've shown you that I just don't care When I'm throwing punches in the air When I'm broken down and I can't stand Will you be man enough to be my man? Lie to me, I promise, I believe Lie to me, but please don't leave Grace Richardson and George Hager on Chords and Vines, strong enough what a nice way to end the show. Grace, that was beautiful. That was awesome. Great job, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us here. We oh. really had a great time. Jorge Hager. Jorge. 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 <laughs> hey. I hear that all the time from the girls. Jorge. <laughs> no, that was great. That was a Cheryl Crow. That was yes. a Cheryl Crow song off the very first album. And that was actually the very first song that we ever learned together. Wow. We have about 50 songs. Um, 
And I rem- remember we, we'd been talking about it for months. I mean, her we're both musicians and singers. And we finally, I, after a couple of glasses of wine, I guess, um, <laughs> I brought out my guitar and said, let's just do this. And we sang that when we went to Vegas one time on the road. And I came home and learned it. And we here we are playing it for you guys. So and the very first awesome. song we ever played That's together. So cool. We do have a Facebook page. It's, um, is it Grace and George or George, George and Grace? George and Grace. Why is your name first? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's not get into this <laughs> now, <laughs> honey. Alphabetical order. George and Alphabetical Grace. Alphabetical uh, uh, acoustic, acoustic jam. jam. So we have the George and Grace wine jam, and we have the George and Grace acoustic jam. So please look us up. And uh, we played our first gig just um what, like two months ago now? Yeah. Um, and we'll be playing a, a, a few more, you know, here and there. So we're excited to kick that off. I, I got to fit in between the Cougars Rock well, yeah. situation. <laughs> <laughs> and Femme Halen and Totally Go-Go's, yeah. which we will be playing Totally Go-Go's um, coming up this weekend uh, at Belvino. So we're excited. Belvino right. Winery in yes. Temecula. So... This brings us almost to the close of another show. It's a, the time sure flies. I know. Um, I want to say next Sunday we're doing a tribute to one of my mentors, Guy Tao. Yes. Who passed away last year. Way who, too soon. Way too soon, very unexpectedly. And he was my motivation for Chords and Vines. His birthday is coming up next Monday, and we're doing the show with him. Uh, I'm doing a tribute show next Sunday to him with some of his music. He was a um, musician and also talk show host of Chords and Vines of, oh, and, and, well, and of relevant Ford, music and, and, and relevant news. music and muse. And we might even have some music that have not been played. On air before. So exciting. I so, wanted, wanted to quickly share, uh, did, did I talk about my involvement with the Wilson family? Yes. Okay, great. You did that. All right. And you're going to be meeting with Nick, no, Mick Nick Wilson. Mick Wilson for lunch tomorrow, so we're going to flesh out the the uh, our plans for the books, and I'm very excited about it. They're amazing people. If you haven't had a chance to meet the Wilsons, uh, they are truly a family-run winery. I can't wait to... I know you've been telling me about their memoirs and everything. Um, I can't wait to read the book. Yeah, it, it's and it's, such nice people. And so anyway, I guess. Um, well, if I could just say real quick, absolutely. Uh, again, thank you for coming and being in the city of Wildemar. We're always happy when you guys are coming our way. Oh, we love it here. We love having you guys here. And uh, my thanks again to this wonderful restaurant, Los Reyes. Aren't they yes. awesome? Uh, they're, they're awesome. I remember uh, when this place opened up, and uh, we were so excited to have you in the city. And uh, actually, the the name that my city staff all calls this place is the cafeteria. <laughs> and the reason is the city well, hall is literally awesome. right across the, uh, the right walk over You're here. You're right there? We're yeah, right here. Oh, and I can tell you, our city staff is probably here almost every day. And so... I I've run into you here a couple yeah, of times. And I a lot know. of times when I have time to meet with staff, we'll, we'll come over to the cafeteria. Los That's Reyes, perfect. And, and I've, been to city, I've been to city council, uh, a couple of city council meetings. I think uh, the first one was when I was with the um, Wishes for Children with Charlie Pate. I don't know if you were on the board then or not, or at the council then or not. It might, have, it might be just before that, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, and also I, I have to thank Bridget because Bridget's the one that asked me to do this. Yes, and, uh, so she's our, our mayor last year, council member now, and I'm always happy to serve when she when she's doing other stuff. So she's she's awesome. She is. You both are just totally awesome. I can't believe. And Marcia, it was so good to see Marcia Swanson here too. Yes, it was yeah. wonderful. We're, we're really blessed in this. We have a great council. All of us get along really well. It's all a very good city council, and it's all, all five great members right now. Great. Yes. Yeah. Well, until next week, next Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock, I'm Tom Plant. And our our tribute to Guy Tao. Yes. And our thanks again to uh, our corporate sponsor, Chris Welton, attorney at law. Welton Law, W-H-E-L-T-O-N Law.com. We'll see you next Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank thank you. That was awesome. Under skies of blue. Vineyards sprawl on rolling hills, kissed by the morning dew. People come from near and far to gather for a taste A tour and a local band made for a special place Chords and vines, songs and wine, a bottle and a tune Chords and vines, songs and wines, a perfect